Okay, this guy. Oh, hey, you're here. Nice. Okay, cool. Then we begin. Then, then, then. What? Uh. Sorry. Um. Am I blushing? I. No. Yes. No. Right. You're here. Good. Yeah, I don't know what that was either. I. Funny how you can do a promo in front of millions of people watching the television sets, but as soon as you appear. Anyway. It's all good. I have recovered. And so. Thus begins. The training of a worthless peasant. I mean, a uh, enthusiastic fan. In some of the basics. No, I didn't call you a peasant. Anyway, so. What are we doing? Well, we're at the performance center. This is where we all train. You, ah. Uh, you thought I asked to meet you here because I was done with work. Yeah, no. No, I've got some, you know, private time here. And I'm going to show you a few things. If nothing else, so you can stop setting the ropes so loose. Like, we need to run against those things. They need to be a bit tighter. You're going to want to spring off them. You're setting it up almost like a boxing ring. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> if they're loose, the whole idea is you want to be able to run and then kind of throw your shoulder and back into it and have it spring you back. There's a tension to it, and, uh, well, I know you're new and all that, but a nice smile doesn't <laughs> get you all that far if guys start getting hurt doing it. So, if nothing else, I want to teach you a bit, just, you know, you're setting up the ring and all that, but you should know the business as well, right? It's not at all an excuse to, uh, you know... <laughs> Hmm, how do I put it? It's not an excuse to just wrap you into a pretzel for fun. No, it's not. At least I'm claiming it's not. Look, if some people can go ballroom dancing or all that kind of stuff as a romantic idea, I think we can romantically teach you how to wrestle a little bit. Yeah, I'm showing you the ropes, literally, even though you set them up most of the time. <laughs> anyway, look, so here we have the ring, of course. Now, if you want to get up here, all right, show me your threatening fighting stance. <laughs> No, no, mm. who laughed? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing with your leg? What, what is that arm supposed to be protecting against? Okay, look, as much as it doesn't have to be martial arts, you have to make it look at least somewhat like you're trying to, you know, protect yourself from incoming blows. Your hand and arm was like away waving off to a stranger in the crowd there. What was that? No, you can't. Your basic stance has to be a little bit more looking like you're a fighter than that. Come on. Right, if I was actually about to come and hit you in real life, how would you stand? Please tell me you're joking. That's not. That's, that's, that's. How have you not died? No. Okay, right. Let, let, let's do this basic. So, basic fighting stance for like every everything, okay? One foot in front of the other, about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more. Open hips a little bit, so front foot, you don't have to point directly at me, I mean, a lot of karate stances would, but you can open it slightly outward, like that, there you go, so now you've got, so see how you can now swing your hips about, pretty free range of motion, that sort of thing, okay. Now, back foot, again, open, so almost like 90 degrees to the way your front foot is pointing, pointing out the way, and there you go, so now you can... Say, look, like, see, see, look, if I was going to push your front, your back hip forward, right? Yes, I've got my hand on your back hip. You'll just have to deal with my... I'm sure you can get your workplace lawyers all, you know, sorting out with a lawsuit as soon as humanly possible. But till then, back hip. And notice the respectful height at which my hand is, by the way. I'm just saying. So if you push that forward, naturally what's going to happen is your hips are going to rotate and it's basically the start of a kick, right? So that's one of the reasons why 
when you transfer weight from your back foot onto your front foot, it's like the start of a normal kicking maneuver, just very easy. In the same way, you can also pull your front foot back, and that's a way to retreat to, you know, like if someone goes an all out attack, you know, here you can get away and duck and go backwards in order to avoid it, you know, kind of Floyd Mayweather stuff. Yes, we're going to get onto some wrestling moves soon. Are you a child? God, right. So, I mean, to be honest with you, we're not going to get onto wrestling moves soon because you have to learn how to fall first. So, yes, you have to learn how to fall first. Okay, look, if I picked you up on my shoulders right now and threw you away up into the air, you're going to fall, like you're going to have your arm in the wrong place, you're going to fall onto your arm, you're going to break something, or you'll fall goofily on your legs or something like you have to learn how to take a fall in such a way... I'll explain when we get to falling. Can you give me a little bit of time? And not look at me like that. Because if you keep looking at me like that, I'm going to forget all about the wrestling. Okay, thank you. So. That's where your legs basically are, okay? And you're facing forward towards this way. So now. The corresponding arm of your front leg, just put it out. And kind of cross it a bit, so you, where you want to hold it exactly, it doesn't really matter. Again, this isn't real fighting at the end of the day, but you just want it to look good. So something that feels natural to you, and then your back hand, back arm, can be slightly more kind of tucked in here. Or you can hold it up more kind of boxery, like in front of your chin, sort of area, something like this. Here we go. It's a bit better. I mean, try and... I don't know how to say it, try and look less awkward, so... Maybe something more like this. Doesn't feel natural, okay. Well, I mean, that's okay. That's It's a start. Generously. Okay, so that's the basic stance. So now, you know, if we're walking around the ring, right? No, no you don't. No, don't. Okay. Right there, you looked so robotic as you're turning. You want to look loose and free as if you're about to jump about. You know, like, again, if you were running, you wouldn't run like, tr -tr 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 rigidly, right? You don't want to look rigid. You want to look free-flowing. Again, one of the nice things about this is I don't have to... Like, it's not so much how to fight, it's how to make a fake fight look like a real one. And part of that is that when your stance has to be believable. Your The way you throw punches and kicks has to be believable. All this stuff has to look proper, you know? So, yeah, right. There you go. Stand at that. Okay. There you go. That's much better. Looser. And there you go. Right. And then, so if I was going to you know, come up to you and like, let's say I'm throwing a punch and yeah, you can duck and do all that sort of stuff, right? So this is fake fighting. So... That's a kind of very basic essence of just how to stand. And then running is just you're going to run. And then moves, well, as I said, first let's learn how to fall. Okay, so, if I, let's say I came up here, and let me, so let's say we kind of went chest to chest, right? And I put my right leg behind you, pushed your chest backwards as I sweep my right leg like that, okay? I'm just going to do it slow. So that would be like a very normal way to take someone down in theory, right? And I just hold your arm in here, boom, and then I can go into an arm bar and that sort of stuff. So when I do that, how would you, what would you do with your body when you're falling backwards? Okay, see the, the way you're looking at me vacantly? This is when I said you don't know how to fall. So, I, I don't care if you've been falling over things your whole life. You don't know how to fall. It's evident. First thing is you're trying to not land on any one particular spot. So basically... The more surface area of your body you can spread an impact out over, the less it's going to hurt. And you've heard us all talk about taking bumps, right? And it's just a, our colloquial way of saying hitting stuff. <laughs> taking a bump is taking a hit, effectively. But when we hit the mat, you want to hit the mat with as much of you as possible because then it's spreading the impact out. And you want to lead with something like your hand. So you lead with your hand, so if you watch me, so if I'm just going to demo for you like this, like... If I lead with my hand like this, then I fall, hit the ground, boom, and then all my my whole side is at taking the impact. Rather than if I land on, say, just my head, just my knee, just my shoulder, just my elbow, then that small area of my body is taking all of the force of the impact. So it's going to hurt like hell. Why are you smiling at me? Okay, now you, this is a goofy grin. What? What? Ah, uh, I, I already fell for you, is, okay, I'll admit, I'll give you some kind of relevance points, however, that's one of the absolute worst puns I've ever heard in my life, and you should be embarrassed and ashamed. 
but thank you, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Hmm? Yeah, I'm really going to teach you stuff. Why not? Because then, you know, when the boys and girls in the back are all talking about various stuff, you can understand the conversation. Like, it's going to help you feel at home here, you know? And even just us talking about things privately is still going to help. So why don't I just teach you the jargon? Because the jargon can sort of explain things, but you haven't felt it. Now, I'm not asking you to feel a fall from the top of a ladder or a cage or, you know, some big, huge... 400 pound guy slamming you as hard as he can because it looks great even if it hurts the person or hurts the person again it's like if they know how to land and all that it's not so bad but if they don't know how to land well it's one of the reasons you see with um, people who are green right so when we talk about someone being green they uh, <laughs> they're often referred to that way because they don't really know what they're doing and they are awkward on getting the you know <clears throat> <clears throat> a bit like okay look I managed to sneak as a wee 10 minutes in here but there are people coming in here well pretty soon how about we get you a signature submission move yeah a signature move well you know obviously there were wrestlers you know Kurt Angle and the likes who would mostly use a submission to end the match right instead of pinning someone so you want the submissions to look good, obviously, ideally, without torturing your opponent. So, great examples. Uh, <laughs> Chris Jericho's Lion Tamer, right? That was before the Walls of Jericho and all that. The one where, you know, you're, he holds the person by essentially their ankles, you know, underneath his armpits, and bends their back over, and he puts their, his knee in their back, and it looks like it would hurt like hell. In reality, it's unbelievably comfortable to sit in. It's so... It's such a nothing hold. But we'll show you one that's actually kind of cool. And, apart from me, nobody uses it. Which is a shame. Because, yeah, it's actually, it's pretty legit. So, okay, see if you grab, so see if you give me a leg, right? So see if I put my arm, like, so, you know, pinky at the bottom of my arm, thumb at the top, right? Or not arm, hand. Um, so, you know, my, my, the back of my hand is facing you, all right? And if I have my arm the same way, so my forearm, you see this bit of bone, like from where the thumb goes? And up that part of your forearm? That bit of bone, pretty hard, okay? So you can use that as a sort of, mm, like pushing a hard surface into, you know, a, a, a soft point, right? So the one we're going to use for this is the Achilles. So if I have your leg here like this, right? So hook it, so I've got like a hook. So it's like, if we were walking, right, and I would, you know, have my, my arm like this to have a little loop and you could put your arm through and that's all sweet and all that. So if I do that same sort of loop, except I have my arm pointed so that that bit of my forearm, the bony bit, you know, just coming off of the thumb is pointed skyward, right? And so then if you imagine, so I can push that part up Okay, so I can level that part up, so essentially you're making that hole in your arm smaller, you're pushing that part of your forearm up towards the sky. And I do that, now if I have your foot locked in there, and so that your Achilles is what's pressed against a bit of the forearm. So now if I push up, and I'll do it really gently, because there you go, see suddenly that's unpleasant. Now... All we do to make this an actual legit looking hold and how you'd actually use it as a hold. So if we're on the ground, I would just put my right leg into your left knee to kind of hold you there. Have your right leg under my right arm and push this up and then that's it. That's the hold. And so, you know, now if someone's way stronger than you, it doesn't really work. But for the most part, it's pretty good, pretty effective. And it's very, very underutilized. I mean, I've never really seen a wrestler use it before I started using it, and I got shown it in a martial arts class when I was a kid. So, yeah, there you go. You now know my signature move. Well, signature submission, I guess, or one of them. For I am, of course, an extremely creative man.
Or at the very least, you've got to give me that this was an extremely creative date idea. Oh, I'm getting a hand signal. That's time up. Uh, well, do come back next week. <laughs> Let's see how's it coming. We can nip off for, I don't know, coffee or something. Hmm? Do you get to try and move on me? Uh, I mean, I guess. Was there any particular thing? That was really, really corny. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's uh, head out before I get shouted at that for overstaying my welcome. <laughs> I do like your move, I have to say. Could you show me it just one more time? No? Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I'll have to wait for the pay-per-view. Wait, that sounds so... That's, that is not what I meant. I, <laughs> okay, you're not going to take offense. Good, because it's really not what I meant. And I, was, I, really, I really didn't mean to... Are you going to wait until... I try to... Talk, and then you go... That's very rude. <laughs> right, no, I'm holding you off now. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, come on. 